hey guys in this video tutorial i will explain you about the functioning and the working of the rgb led inside the tinkercad so here on the right hand side you can see your rgb led and if not you can simply write r g and b and you will get your rgb led okay now we have drag it out here you can see that this is your simple led but having four pinouts rgb stands for the red green and blue why it is so because we know that that with the help of these three colors by changing the intensities or doing some sort of variations in the intensities of these colors we can make any color of our own choice within the visible spectrum so red uh, pen and then cathode then blue pen and then green pen so we will just do one thing we will go and we will take a potentiometer one potentiometer then second potentiometer and then third potentiometer so they are the three potentiometers okay now we will connect we will connect some of the terminals of these potentiometers with each other okay like this one and this one okay so we will connect the power uh, power source positive end on this side the mid pin of the potentiometer is actually the wiper pin which is attached to this rotating knob so okay then uh, what about the next one it is the okay then this okay okay now our left all the left uh, sides are connected with each other and also the right side all the right pinouts of the potentiometers so now we will take our power source and that is obviously our dry cell consists of dry cell and it must be at least two cells because the LEDs used to work uh, after 2.2 volts so first we will connect uh, positive end with one positive end uh, with one and negative end with one side of the potentiometers okay so a uh, negative end of battery is now uh, with the connected with the positive sides of the potentiometers are positive pinouts okay and now we will connect the positive end of the battery with the okay with the with this okay okay now now they all are connected with each other this one this one this one and all this so okay now we have the wiper pins wiper pins and wiper pins can be connected with the or before connecting the wiper pins do one thing connect the cathode cathode of the rgb led with the negative end of the battery okay so okay so with what one wiper pin we will connect our r r pin 
Okay, like this. And like this. Okay, now. Okay. Now we are now we have connected all the all the pins with the uh, potentiometer. So so what actually it means? It means that on different voltages on the three pinouts on three pinouts on the uh, three pinouts the voltages pins the the, the wiper pins must pro, must be providing the different. Uh, voltage so 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 because we can variate the voltage on the wiper pin with the help of this knob on the potentiometer like we will rotate the, the knob of the potentiometer and the voltage will be changed on the what's called as the wiper pin and it will attach to the like uh, uh, like this blue and green and red pin out so we will start our simulation okay it says that it's okay yeah why it is so because we need to place one current limiting resistor so where it is we need to connect one resistor and it must be of uh, 100 ohms not more than that it's okay for us so okay we, we will just connect it like uh, this one oh sorry okay we, we can delete it out like this so we will okay wait first we will place it here then this and this and then we will move towards the the negative end of the battery okay now we will start simulation now we can see that our what's called as our LED is just giving us green light now we are going to increase uh, our voltage on one side and the other okay now, now it changes its color Okay, so okay, okay. Now I think that uh, okay. Now now it is giving us red. Okay, now it is giving us violet, and now it is giving again giving us violet, and now we are reducing the voltage zone. Okay, we will see that what it will give us okay it's it's totally off after that it is giving us a pink type shade okay now it is a little pinky shade so now it is giving us blue so we have so we have to set for some more okay for some more current and then okay wait uh, I have to okay so so how we have got some of the colors out of uh, the total spectrum uh, yes like for some light and some dark and from cyan, pink, and all these colors. So, so hopefully you got the concept regarding the using of RGB LED within the Tinkercad. So, thanks for watching.